Chinese hackers just use Claude code to launch cyber attacks. And I'm not talking about using AI to write phishing emails or generate malware. I'm talking about AI running the entire operation. This is the first documented case of a cyber attack where AI did 80 to 90% of the work and it happened in mid-September 2025. Thirty organizations were targeted, tech from, from tech companies to financial institutions and government agencies, and they got in multiple times. So let me walk through what exactly happened, because this changes everything both about hacking and development. All right, so here's the timeline. Mid-September 2025, Anthropic, the company that makes Claude, detected suspicious activity on their platform. After investigating, they trace it back to what they're calling GTG1002, a Chinese state-sponsored hacking group. These weren't random targets. We're talking about major tech corporations, banks, chemical manufacturers, government agencies, about 30 organizations in total. And here's the technical setup. The hackers use Claude Code, Anthropic's AI coding tool, combined with something called the Model Context Protocol, or MCP. MCP is basically a system that lets AI models use external tools, like giving clawed hands. It can interact with systems, run commands, and access databases. Now, a human operator chose the targets and set up the framework, but once that was done, the AI took over. Humans only intervened at four to six critical moments per attack, stuff like should we escalate from reconnaissance to actual exploitation? Should we use these credentials we just found? Should we exfiltrate this data? And so on. Everything else, that was Claude. Okay, so first problem. Claude has safety guardrails. It's trained to refuse harmful requests. So how did they get around that? Social engineering. They told Claude it was an employee of a legitimate cybersecurity firm and that it was conducting authorized penetration testing. Then they broke the attack into tiny, seemingly innocent tasks like, hey Claude, can you map this network infrastructure? That sounds fine, right? Like normal IT work. Or can you check for vulnerabilities in this system and write some test code? Again, it sounds like legitimate security research. Claude never saw the full malicious context, it just did what it was asked. Once jailbroken, Claude started with reconnaissance. It inspected target systems, mapped attack surfaces, identified high value databases. Then it moved to vulnerability discovery. It researched known exploits, tested them, wrote custom exploit code when needed. It researched known exploits, tested them, wrote custom code when it was needed. Next, credential harvesting. Claude found usernames and passwords, validated them, figured out which accounts had the highest privileges. Then it moved laterally across networks. Once it had one foothold, it spread to other systems. And finally, data exfiltration. Claude identified sensitive information, extracted it, categorized it by intelligence value, and created comprehensive reports. Now here's the insane part. At peak activity, Claude made thousands of requests per second. Thousands per second. That's physically impossible for human hackers. Okay, so this raises an obvious question. If Claude code can be used for cyber attacks at this scale, why does Anthropic keep developing it? And Anthropic's answer is actually interesting. The same capabilities that let Claude attack also make it critical for defense. In fact, Anthropic's own threat intelligence team used Claude extensively to analyze the massive amounts of data from this investigation. We're in an arms race now, and I've said this before in my shorts, sophisticated cyber attacks are going to happen. The question is, do defenders have access to the same AI tools that attackers do? Logan Graham, uh, who leads Anthropic's catastrophic risk team said, if we don't enable defenders to have a very substantial permanent advantage, I'm concerned that we may lose this race. Here's the reality. The barrier to entry for sophisticated cyber attacks just dropped dramatically. Before this, you needed a team of experienced hackers working for weeks or even months. 
Now one person with Cloud Code can do the work of an entire hacking team in hours or days. Now, Claude wasn't perfect. It hallucinated sometimes. It claimed it found credentials that didn't actually work. It identified critical discoveries that turned out to be publicly available information. Anthropic says these errors represent an obstacle to fully autonomous cyber attacks, at least for now. So what does this mean for you, for developers, for creators, for people building with AI? First, Claude code is incredibly powerful, like we already knew that but this proves it can handle complex, multi-stage technical operations with minimal human oversight. If it can conduct reconnaissance, write exploits and exfiltrate data, what can you build with it? Automated testing frameworks that actually think. Automated testing frameworks that actually think. Code auditing tools that find vulnerabilities in your own systems before attackers do. DevOps workflows that handle complex deployments autonomously. But here's the flip side. If your applications have vulnerabilities, AI can now find them really quickly, like fast. So security isn't optional anymore. It's not something you can put off until version 2.0 because the tools attackers are using are getting exponentially more capable. With each improvement that we're seeing on the white hat side of AI, those improvements are also capabilities of black hat AI. Anthropic is advising security teams to start experimenting with AI for defense, security operations automation, threat detection, vulnerability assessment, incident response. The race is on, and if you're not using AI to secure your systems, you're already behind. Here's the bigger picture. This isn't about just one Chinese hacking group. This is about what's now possible. We just witnessed a fundamental shift in cybersecurity. AI agents can now operate at speeds and scales that humans simply can't match. Anthropic detected this, banned the accounts, notified the affected organizations, and alerted law enforcement, all within 10 days. But this won't be the last time. As AI agents become more capable, these attacks will become more common. The question isn't whether AI will be used for cyber attacks. It already is being used for cyber attacks. The question is, are we building the defenses fast enough to keep up? Tomorrow I'm covering another cybersecurity issue. Subscribe so you don't miss it. This is Lexicon Labs. See you in the next one.